Hi, Coach Kim here, seasoned personal trainer, ready to give you some tips on how not to gain that weight over the holidays. Uh, the average five to 10 pounds, the average person gains from Halloween to New Year's. And I don't think um, most of it's, it's muscle weight. So I'm gonna here to share some great tips. So thanks for joining me. I don't think most of us wanna gain weight over the holidays. You know, people, a good, good way to gain weight is when you're lifting weights because muscle is denser and heavier than fat. So speaking of weight training, let's talk about exercise in general. Be consistent with your exercise through the holidays, guys. I can't tell you enough, even when company's at your house. I know some of you got company, I can't do it. Well, guess what? Maybe they can join you. And if they don't wanna join you, tell them you'll be back in 30 minutes, okay? Or maybe upwards of an hour. So I recommend 30 to 60 minutes, go out for that walk, especially get rid of some of that stress and maybe we need to take a break from our company. But anyway, I'm gonna recommend that the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, recommends 150 minutes a week of cardiovascular exercise and twice a week of resistance exercise. So what do I mean by cardio? Cardio is anything that deals with the heart, gets that heart pumping. It could be walking, it could be running, it could be um, maybe on your, your Peloton bike or any bike for that matter. Biking outside is great. Um, rollerblading, swimming, you pick what works for you, a 10 minute bout, at least, even if you only got 10 minutes, get 10 minutes with the heart going, okay? We want more than that, but 10 minutes does count towards that 30 minutes if you have that plan. So you can do 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at lunch, 10 minutes in the evening, okay? But shoot for 150 minutes a week, more is better. Personally, I like to get 30 minutes minimum a day, 60 minutes upwards um, on, a, on a great day. I, I really like to shoot for 60 minutes. So it's good to mix it up too. Don't do the same thing every time. One day, maybe go for that bike. Next day, go for that walk, whatever works for you, but be consistent with your exercise twice a week of weights. And if you can't get the weights in there, cause you got, you're so busy during the holidays, that's okay. You can do things like squats at home. You could do push-ups on the kitchen counter. Okay, there's lots of things you can do. It's a matter of doing it. And I promise you, be consistent with your exercise. Even when you don't feel like it, you're gonna be glad you did especially up here. So much of it, it's for anxiety and depression. And um, they say that, that exercise is like taking antidepressants. So it does make us feel better, I promise you. Also, try to eat. I'm gonna bring up mindful eating. There's a free, there's lots of free apps. Uh, My Fitness Pal is a really good one. Um, Lose It, some people just wanna use a hand, a little journal, whatever, but our cell phones have made it easy with apps. Write down what you eat and drink you're more mindful, okay? And try to consume more protein. The protein will fill you up during the holidays. Um, it also consume fiber. Fiber will help fill you up. So maybe have that bowl full of oatmeal and try to get the oatmeal that takes a while to cook, guys. Anything that's instant in package, we we'll probably wanna stay clear of, or we will wanna stay clear of. So guys, I do recommend that you're really mindful with nutrition. We're gonna have lots of holiday goodies coming in and out of your house. So when you are baking those sugar cookies, okay, I know you and you love sugar cookies. Well, you know what? Enjoy one or two of your sugar cookies. And if you're too tempted, you're gonna eat even more, give away the rest, get it out of the house. Okay, so it's really important, you know, as these goodies start flowing in, enjoy one or two of them. Life's too short, it's the holidays. So you wanna enjoy that, okay? Have that one or two, get rid of the rest. Trust me, without the self-control, the pounds start coming on, we wonder, why are my clothes fitting better? I'm exercising every day, but nutrition is key. In my opinion, it's 80 to 90% of our body composition, okay? And do a lot of laughing. Laughing works calories and uh, be consistent with that exercise. So please, mindful eating. So remember, consistent exercise and mindful eating, okay? Get rid of those cookies. So limit, I wanna talk about something with you guys. A little sensitive subject, but I'm talking about it anyway. Liquid calories, limit the liquid calories. Did you know? eggnog, pina coladas, all those heavy drinks. Some of them are upwards of three, 400, maybe even 500 calories, margaritas, all that. If you're gonna drink alcohol, believe it or not, the best alcohol is gonna be your wine and a glass of wine, not a bottle of wine, okay? Just, I know we all know a glass of red wine's good. It doesn't mean a bottle's better. And also um, like a light beer instead of a dark beer. Some of those dark beers are up ways of uh, equal to doing a 5K run, which is 3.1 miles, by the way. So just be mindful with the limit, uh, limiting the liquid calories and try to drink water in between your alcohol. So um, not so sure there's gonna be a lot of parties going on this year, um, but if you happen to be at an outdoor party or maybe an inside family uh, gathering, just be mindful of those liquid calories. I know you're gonna make great decisions. So um, sleep, yeah, I'm talking about sleep, but what does that have to do with anything? Well, you know, inadequate sleep 
um, contributes to lowering your metabolism. Did you know that? There's a lot of things. Sleep, guys, is critical. It's restorative. So most of us need between seven and nine hours of sleep. I know I like nine hours at least of sleep, and uh, I, it's a priority for me. And my family knows. I go in shutdown mode, and I need my sleep, and when I don't get enough of it, I can feel the difference. So make sure you shut down those tablets, you put your cell phones away, and just try to go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time every day. That makes a big difference. Um, also, uh, try to go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time, even on the weekends, okay? So it does make a big difference um, when you do that. Just pretend we're like little kids. You know how we've got great routines? We need to do it for our self time. So control your holiday stress. Stress, stress, stress. All the shopping, the eating, all the, the worrying, all the stuff. It's really important you make time for you. Make a plan. Go out and hit the beach. Um, meditate. Uh, hug your dog you know, love all over your kids and grandkids, guys. It's really, really important to do things that de-stress for you. Even if just reading a book and sitting in a room in solitude where everybody leaves you alone. Okay, you need to de-stress. So find that time for yourself. Okay, make that time. So let's go over a couple things real quick. Consistent exercise. Okay, if you miss a day, that's fine. But I'd like you, if you could, I know what the Center for Disease Control says about 150 minutes a week of cardio twice a week for weights. But if you could get 30 minutes in, even just walking six days a week, if not seven, walking is great. I encourage you to do that in a couple days a week of the weight bearing. Okay, remember you're mindful eating, eat the protein, eat more fiber, limit your uh, liquid calories, choose wine or beer, the lighter options if possible. Okay guys, and write things down. That really, really helps. And try to manage your stress and get more sleep, good quality sleep.